Today we're going to be coloring a music video for 21 Savage. If you guys like videos just like this, leave a like and subscribe because I'm going to be uploading every single day this month. And also, if you're looking for some fire editing packs, go check out my website. We have a huge selection on there. But let's hop right into this video here. We're inside of Premiere Pro and we got the 21 Savage music video in here. We got three different clips here and we're going to be coloring each of these individually, showing you guys different color grading styles and techniques that you can use on your music videos. Now, these videos have been converted into flat footage just by using a little color correction here, turning the saturation down, the contrast down and the shadows up a little bit just like that. You guys can do that yourself on music videos to practice on. Just copy these settings. Anyways, to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to go into project here and then we're going to right click, go over to new item and then we're going to hit adjustment layer. We're going to hit OK right here and we're going to drag and drop that on top of our footage here, stretch it out and then we're going to cut it for each individual clip here. Now we're going to be using the adjustment layer to color on. I like coloring on adjustment layers because you can just turn them on and off super simply just like this to see the before and after. Now we're going to go into Lumetri color here. If you don't have Lumetri color in a tab and you have to go into effects and search it up every time, what you want to do is go up to window here, go down to Lumetri color, click on it, and then just drag and drop it in your area of choice. Now we're going to start off in creative right here. Under look, we're going to hit none and then browse. And we're going to be using LUTs to color grade, but don't let that scare you away. There are a ton of free LUTs on the internet that you guys can download. And I guarantee you guys already have LUTs. Literally just go on YouTube and search free LUTs. Or if you want to go and check out my LUT pack over on my website, it contains over 285 unique LUTs that are really good. I'm going to be using that to color these videos, but just follow along because all the color correction we do after inside of basic correction, you guys can apply to your videos as well. And you'll learn so much just by watching this. Opened up in the ultimate LUT pack, you guys could see we we have one through 282 different LUTs and then seven additional film LUTs as well. I'm going to go ahead and pick a completely random LUT just to show you guys how fire this is. Uh, I'm going to go for a 207 here. And nice, we have this really cool blue aesthetic. Let's expand on that inside of basic correction. Like I said before, this is where all the magic happens. If you want your LUT to be more intense, actually, you can go inside of creative and turn it up or down. Totally up to you guys. I'm going to leave it where it is. Now, inside of basic correction, I'm going to go ahead and turn the contrast up. I'm going to go ahead and turn the exposure up, uh, the highlights down, the whites down, contrast down. And we're going to lean towards the green here. So we get like a really green and blue grungy look. His face is green and we can lean towards uh, orange a little bit if we want. I like that look right there. And now we're going to turn the blacks down and the whites up a little bit. And boom, we get a super great looking clip just like that. If we compare before after this looks great but we can expand on it a little bit more so i'm going to drag and drop a film grain overlay from my film looks pack just dragging and drop that on top of our footage in our timeline we're going to go inside effect controls we're going to scale it down so it matches the size of our clip and then we're going to set it to overlay and you guys can see just like that we get a really clean film grain turning that on and off if you guys want to go check that out that's linked below as well now we're going to cut that to with this footage and let's work on our next one here we have this clip right here we're going to go ahead and click on our adjustment layer and just like before low metric color creative look none browse and another completely random luck guys let's go for 232 and ooh, we get this nice green washed out look let's go ahead and turn this up here I really like the way this looks we can go for a really cool stylized look with this i'm going to go and turn the oranges up just a little bit here to give his skin some more tone let's go and turn the exposure up and then the contrast up just to make it look super grungy the shadows down and then the whites down a bit and then the blacks can come up a tad and then boom we have this really unique look if we compare before and after super clean love the way this looks tell me that isn't crazy like, come on guys super easy and we could put that foam grain on if we want as well I'm a sucker for film grain, but that's up to you guys if you want to do that. We got the before and the after with the film grain. All right, and then moving on to our very last clip here, we have this clip of 21 Savage in the car. Just like before, guys, creative, look, none, browse, super simple. Another random LUT. Let's go with uh, 271 here, and we get a nice purpley blue look. Let's go inside of basic correction and sauce this up. Turn the exposure up. Turn the highlights down a tad. The whites need to come down a lot. And then the shadows need to come up. Contrast up. Blacks down. And then how does that look if we turn orange up? We kind of get like an old fashioned look there. I kind of like this. And then it's kind of like a brownish color on the color grade. I think that looks great there, guys. And then we're going to copy and paste this film grade on it. And then insane look looking amazing if we compare the before and the after looking incredible. Even if we want to go ahead and compare the before and after of the original clip here. So we have the clip that we colored and then we have the one in the music video. And tell me this one isn't way harder. Come on, tell me we didn't snap guys. This looks like some mafia mobster shit. 
looks crazy. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video and want to go check out the LUT pack, you guys can download it below. You guys can use code 15 off as well to save yourself $15 off. It takes off 15%, but it, it just works out like that. Anyways, see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace.